boys and girls, it's Miss Brenda from Boy Troop Early On. Today for our craft, we are going to be making leaf puppets. But this time, instead of using craft materials, I'm going to be finding leaves outside on the ground, and I'm gonna pick my favorite ones so we can use them to make our leaf puppets. So I am encouraging you to go outside in your yard or go on a nature walk with your family and find three beautiful leaves that you would like to use to make your leaf puppet. Once you've done that, you can come back and we can make our leaf puppets together. Now that you've collected three beautiful leaves, I'll show you everything we need to put our leaf puppets together. So to begin our leaf puppets, we will need our three leaves that we collected on our walk or in our backyard. My first leaf is from an elm tree. It's nice and round at the bottom and it comes to a point at the top. My second leaf is still a little bit green, but he must have fallen off early. He's from a birch tree. If you notice, it's much smaller than the elm leaf, and it's much pointier on the top. Can you see that? Okay, and our final leaf, which is one of my favorites, is a maple leaf. He's got nice tiny little spots he used to be very, very bright red, but he's been on the ground for a long time. So all these tiny, tiny spots have started all over the leaf. Can you see them? What kind of leaves did you collect? Maybe you could get help from your parents and look them up to see what kind of leaves you collected. Now that we have our three leaves, we can grab some white glue and some popsicle sticks. I have a bunch here, but you're only gonna need three for your three leaves because we're making three leaf puppets. And you'll also need some googly eyes just to make it really fun. And we can use markers to draw the face on our leaf puppets. And that's it. That's all the materials that we'll need for this. Isn't that simple? Oh, let's get started on our leaf puppets. So we're going to take our first leaf and lay it nice and flat on our table. And we're going to take our glue and put two very tiny dots on the leaf where we want the eyes to go. I'm going to put my eyes right here. And it's very important not to use too much glue because our eyes won't stick very well. We're gonna take our Google eyes. I chose these two small Google eyes and we're gonna stick them right on top of where we put our glue and give it a good push. But remember to be super gentle because your leaf could tear or rip very easily. Perfect. Now, I'm going to figure out what kind of mouth I want my leaf to have. I'm going to take my black marker, and I think I'm going to give Mr. Leaf a great big smile. So I'm going to start here, and go all the way around, and bring it across like this to give him a great big happy smile. Very cool. Now that Mr. Leaf has a great big smile and very pretty googly eyes, I'm going to get my popsicle stick and put glue on one end of the popsicle stick and lay it underneath the leaf just like this. So let's get our glue and we'll put a tiny dab right on the popsicle stick. I'm gonna shake out my glue. Good. Remember, not too much glue. And we'll lift up Mr. Leaf and stick it right down. Remember to be super, super gentle with the leaves. You don't want them to rip. Good. 
Now we're going to let him dry. And once the glue is dry, we'll have our puppet. Now we can move on to this leaf, our elm leaf. He's nice and bright. He's almost, he's almost orange, but he's a little bit brown. So, for Mr. Elm, I'm going to give him even smaller googly eyes. You see how small those are? And I think I want his eyes to go very, very far apart like this. So I'm going to take my glue, put a little dab here, and a little dab here. I have to be very, very gentle with this leaf because he's very, very thin. And he might rip very easily. Good. Pretty funny. Now I'm going to take my brown marker and give him a very surprised mouth. A nice big circle like this. It looks like he almost got scared or something. I think I'm going to do that a little bit darker, just so you can see it better. Let's go over it with black. There we go. That's much better. I'm going to color it in. That's pretty silly. Okay, let's take our popsicle stick again. And how much glue do we use? Do we take our whole glue and just squeeze it all over? No. We take a little dab of glue right at the end, like this. And now we can lift up Mr. Elm Leaf and stick him to the popsicle stick. And he can go over and sit with Mr. Maple Leaf while he dries. Good. Now it's time for our teeny, teeny, tiny birch leaf. I think I'm going to use the biggest Google eye I have and stick it right on the top like that. Won't that be silly? Let's give him a little bit of glue. We'll have to give him a little bit more glue than we gave the other Google eyes just because it's bigger. That should work. Now we'll take the big Google eye and stick it right on top. That looks pretty silly. Okay, now I think I want to give the little birch leaf some big red lipstick. So I'm gonna draw some lips on him. Just like this. A big smile. Red lipstick. And we'll outline it in black so you can see it better. Very cute. Okay, now we'll get our popsicle stick again and put a little bit of glue right on the top. And we'll lift up the birch leaf and stick it right on. Awesome. Now we're gonna let our leaves dry for a little bit, just enough so the glue sets and they're not wiggly anymore. So I'll set them over here and I'll check back soon. So it looks like my leaf puppets are finally dry. It only took about five minutes for the glue to set, but this is what we have now. This is our maple leaf puppet with his two small Google eyes and they wiggle around just like this. And this is our birch puppet with his surprised face and it looks like while he was drying, 
his hair started to curl up a little bit because the leaf was wet when he was outside, but now that he's inside, he started to dry and crinkle up. Isn't that neat? It's kind of funny. And this, he's my favorite, this tiny guy. His one big eye on such a tiny leaf. I think that's so silly. Well, it looks like these leaf puppets turned out very well, and I hope yours did too. Thank you for joining me for another very fun craft, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Goodbye!